and welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD, and Erin. And you know why you're here. <laughs> we know why we're here. <laughs> it's BGS. Uh, so, we're going back to the wheel today. Mm -hmm. We really are. <laughs> Sorry, Erin loves all this. I love fun. Because JD's turn to spin the wheel. JD, spin the wheel. Okay, JD. Got to do it now. Got to get a name. Sugar, 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 sugar. You've got to spin it first. You can't rig it. We have to keep going until we get a name. Again. Yeah. Okay, so solo and I've got to spin again for yeah, yeah, Until yeah. we get a name because otherwise okay. I might just go sugar. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of RM. How did you do that? I <laughs> So? It's a solo and it's RM. Mm -hmm. How did you rig that? I didn't, I promise, I promise, I didn't. The first time she touches the wheel. They're going to think I cheated because RM's my first, <laughs> but I swear I did it. You said about the blood, sweat and tears, which when we watched that, we spoke about how he just a lot. He reads a lot, yeah. He's always going to museums and looking for inspiration through art uh, and philosophy. He's constantly reading and reading all different types of genres. He was the one of the first members of BTS that was um, the first trainee for Big Hit for under um, Bang PD Nim, Bang Shook. Uh, so, and he, Bang Shook, knew that he was going to build BTS and as a an old school hip hop group who were hard hitting and had something to say with RM's input because that's what he wanted. So RM was the first member and he had a lot of decision uh, input on who went into the band. Um, so he was the first member. And when the others came on, like V, for example, had never um, really touched on um, old school hip hop or, or rap or anything uh, before. So he gave them like um, the whole group as BTS said trainees, he gave them a, a, a set list on um, like Spotify or whatever to listen to. So they had homework to go away and listen the and kind study. Of thing they of, of the, the kind of thing that they wanted to yeah. draw inspiration from. So I'd love to know what that set list was. Yeah. Yeah, I would too. I mean, but he was always like, um, on their Twitter and stuff, he's always putting on like screenshots of what he's listening to, um, just because I think it's a really nice way that he's promoting like, oh, I'm, I'm checking out this book, you might like it, or I'm listening to this artist, you might like them. And it's not because there's anything in it for him, he's not getting paid or anything like that, he's just literally spreading yeah, the word about I'm what, enjoying he's, this. Yeah, what yeah. he's listening to and what he's reading about. And so I think that's really nice to bring that to the attention of potentially younger generations who may not even look at that material unless they're encouraged by someone they admire. Um, Kat and I thought we'd go with Persona. Um, it's got a good melody to it and it's got a really good message and it's from their, not, it's from a couple of albums back. It was uh, Map of the Soul Persona and it was the opening uh, song for that. Um, so yeah, it's got, it's going to have captions on it so as well. So. The was this on a BTS album or his yeah. own solo? So do they this one's do on their own BTS solo album. songs on the BTS album yes, as well they as do. their own album? Yes, so they this would be classed as a BTS solo, mm -hmm. not an RM. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So although he wrote this, um, but it is part of it's RM solo on a BTS album. So yeah, that's good, and it's all about. Um, Questioning and trying to figure out who you are um, and because persona was the whole point of map of the soul persona was there's a philosophy where you've got different parts of your mind called your ego your shadow and your persona um, and so they actually delve into those different type that philosophy within that album and they've got um, singles that are called ego shadow persona and so this one's persona and the ego and the shadow are done by the other two rappers J-Hope and Sugar. So please remember to like, comment and subscribe. If you head over to Patreon, we are two videos ahead. Have the specialty tier for BTS fans where you can get all these BTS videos two weeks early and Patreon exclusives like the behind the scenes, the dance practices, um, BTS run episodes, BTS run episodes yeah, all of that good stuff. Mm. Um, yeah, so we're watching RM Persona. Persona. Mm. Yo, now the new way we got, plus the new old channel, I'm plus
genius so like the way that he just puts um all of those lyrics into that melody is just yeah. really really good so. it was like it felt like hard hitting mm. but without being loud yeah and, and you could see from like... the video as well couldn't you like he was saying about all of these people and all of these robots just following along and he was the only one who was doing something differently or thinking for himself or not following the crowd he kind of gave me the impression that like the devil on, and the angel on the shoulder were like almost a bit warring because obviously where he's got the hood up and he's very dark mm. rapping and that kind of seems like the darker side and then he's in like the nice like very pale hair and very pale outfit mm. um and like he said i can play evil or something something along those mm. lines like evil. Mm. yeah um is that maybe like trying to fit in with what yeah he was saying be? like um he was saying, I can do this, and then people say they don't like it, or I could do that, and then people say they don't like it. And it was about, like, at the end of the day, he can't please everybody by pretending to be something that he's not, because he yeah. doesn't win either way. Either way, it's a lose-lose situation for him. So what he's going to do is actually just focus on trying to find out who he is and being himself, um, because that's actually the most important thing at the end, rather than just being a lemming to please the masses, um, and then just being another robot. I've got just that one bit in my head, like, who the hell am I? Mm. <laughs> yeah, well, this will be another one that you can add to your um, playlist so you can listen to it. And that chorus is definitely yeah. very catchy. It gets stuck in your head. It helps so that it's, it's in but... English as well because you can immediately repeat it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's why a lot of K-pop songs do insert bits of English mm. is so that it obviously opens up to a wider audience and you can sing along with those bits and makes yeah. it more catchy. Um, but I think... Um, Slightly different style for you from what you've seen yeah. from BTS so far. A little bit more harder hitting. That's not the hardest hitting of the rap line, but like you say, the message itself was in your face without being in your face, if you know what I mean. So that was RM Persona. Or does it come up as BTS Persona? It's Yeah, it's BTS. It's Map of the Soul Persona, or, or Intro Persona is the okay. single. Okay. 
<laughs> add that to my playlist. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.